welcome back guys so in this section i am going to introduce one real time e-commerce app which is hybrid in nature and we will use that app to practice and do some real time testing scenarios okay so first of all you can download the app from this website go to the rahulshettyacademy.com and navigate to practice projects and here you have many practice apps where you can use for your hands-on testing parallelly with your lectures as you are in mobile automation course you can go ahead and download this hybrid android app which we're gonna use in coming two sections okay so if you are working on any front-end web automation testing tools you can use these practice web pages to practice but at this time we are in appium mobile automation so make sure you download this app which we'll be using for further few lectures okay so let me open that app um, here general store this is the app let me go to the first screen basically this is an e-commerce app where users can go and buy the products you can select the any country from where you are and give any name and then male or female as a gender this is the form so firstly you have to fill this form before you get started with shopping so I'm just going through this app and making you familiar with what all pages we have in this app so that from next lecture when we start automating them you will have an idea of what exactly and how exactly this app performs so when you click on let shop button you will be navigated to the products page so here you will have different products where you can go and purchase let's say if you want to add the first item and the fifth item in the cart you can do that and once you add to cart that will change to add it to the cart right and once you are done the shopping you can click on that cart and that will take you to the checkout page and it will show you the products which are selected in the previous page here and do remember that we will be able to scroll down with appium gesture to actually find out the remaining products so once you have selected products you will see the total purchase amount in the checkout page for the products you selected and then you can have this checkbox selected for send an emails which will be dummy part here there is no back end here don't worry so it's all about front end automation and then you can long click on this terms of conditions to see about what are the terms which you need to follow for this particular app and now if you want to purchase this item you need to visit the website that's what this app says on clicking this button you will be navigated to google.com page so basically my point here is to show that in this app we are also rendering web view so that means this app will be the best example to demonstrate on how to automate hybrid apps okay in the earlier lectures i have told you right when we say as native app that will have only either ios or android um, related pages but now when you say hybrid app then that will be having web also rendered on that app if that is the case you need to handle with different mechanism in appium you cannot directly handle it if app switches to web you need to follow some procedure and that we will be clearly discussing as part of this real time exercises okay and if you try to um click on let's shop without giving any name you will be run into error saying please enter your name so that's the basic overview of the app and we will be doing the different test scenarios like fill the form details 
and verify if the error message is displaying the toast messages when you provide wrong inputs and when you try to go to next page you have to validate if that message is displaying and another test case is that you need to shop the items by scrolling to specific product you need to select this scroll down and if you want to interest in selecting another product called air jordan you should be able to scroll down through your apm code and scroll to specific product whichever you mentioned in your test case and you should be able to add to cart and the third test case is validate if the item selected in the before page are matching with the item selected in the checkout page okay so you have to remember what all you selected there and what all are displaying here are same and the validate total amount displayed in the checkout page matches with sum of products selected so these are the two different amounts right and the total of these two is displaying here you need to verify if this functionality is working correct or not so basically you need to get the amount of all the products present in the checkout page sum them and make sure it matches the amount here all right and validate mobile gestures are working like long press should open this pop up and you should be able to open click on this checkbox with tap instead of click you need to do with tap and make sure you should be able to scroll validate all this mobile gestures are working as expected for your app and then the last test case is to verify if user can do operations on web view so when you click on this button and that will render web view if that is the case and if you want to perform any other operations like hello in this edit box in google search and if you want to do any operations on that web how to do that we will see a mechanism of handling hybrid apps with appium when we are dealing with the sixth scenario and how to come back to the native app from web view all right so these are the different scenarios we are going to automate as part of this project i have carefully selected this by going through what exactly pain points we face when we are working in real time projects and then i try to put all these as part of our testing all right so that's all i have if you want to get this app in your emulator there is one simple command which will help you to install this app directly into this mobile so that you can start getting your ui automator open and get the objects of this app so let me show you the command firstly go to your sdk platform tools okay if you have already set this in your system path then you need not go you can directly give the command so go to the command prompt so if you as i said if you have not already set the path then firstly go to that platform tools path and there adb install and give the path of your apk file so once you have downloaded you should have that somewhere in your downloads folder right in my case it is in this path adb install slash and you need to give the name general hyphen store dot apk hyphen sorry make sure the name is exact it's case sensitive okay so general yeah you see that perfect it got installed in your emulator so make sure your emulator is opened first and then go to this platform tools and hit command called adb install and the path where exactly your apk is lying and that's it once you hit that command it will take some time and it will install that apk in your emulator so that you can use this emulator and then open the app and at the same time you can start opening your ui automator and we can get the objects of it which we will start doing it from our next lecture all right thank you guys